Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Wednesday the 8th of November 2017. I'm Darren Sinden and you can follow me on Twitter throughout the day by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes in price moves to be aware of. Uh, frankly, there aren't that many uh, to concern ourselves with this morning. I will just flag uh, two things. First of all, Euro dollar trading with a 115.8750 handle, so well below that 116 level. Uh, Bitcoin has been active again, up around 3.5%, and the coins now trade around $7,381. Uh, ago shortly before we came on air right one to watch from here chart of the day dollar up bonds down is the caption and uh, you can see that play that clearly here the dollar index uh, the line in green rallying since september uh, to us two-year treasury notes at the price of those falling away and this differential really here is what uh, we should be paying attention to i think going into the end of the year and out into 2018 um, this really is a a chart, if you like, of the path back to normalization of monetary policy for the USA. Right, what's on the calendar today? Events that may move the markets. Well, we've already had the principal data uh, for Wednesday uh, out in China. That was out at 2 o'clock in the morning GMT. And that was uh, trade balance data for China for October. We'll look at that in a little bit more detail later on. But suffice to say, uh, the numbers were a bit deviant from expectations. Uh, there's not much more to come uh, this morning. There's a There's a... ECB non-monetary policy meeting ongoing in Frankfurt but the real meat on the bones isn't until this afternoon when we get Canadian housing starts for October at 13.15 GMT and then we have to wait until half past 3 GMT, 15.30 GMT uh, to get uh, US crude stocks for November. There's a 10-year Treasury note auction at 6 o'clock GMT uh, in the US. And then perhaps the, the other most important uh, news item of the day, uh, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand's interest rate decision meeting. That happens at 8 o'clock tonight GMT. Uh, we'll see a rate statement, the interest rate decision, and the monetary policy statement and press conference uh, in all in short order. The press conference an hour after the, the year decisions at 2100 GMT. Right, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. A relatively slow uh, evening uh, for news flow. Uh, we've already seen the Chinese uh, export data uh, as part of the trade balance data. Uh, exports dipped below forecast in October and they dragged the country's overall trade balance lower. Democratic candidates have won the races to be the next governors of New Jersey and Virginia in the US in a slap in the face uh, to Donald Trump. And speaking of uh, President Trump, he has told North Korea not to underestimate the USA in a fiery address to the South Korean parliament as he heads for China on the next leg of his Asian tour. Right, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day. And why not think about this? Uh, we focus a lot on China in its role as the world's economic engine room. Yet there is another highly populous developing economy in Asia that investors are getting excited about. And the chart here shows us uh, potential destinations for foreign direct investment globally over the next uh, two years. Uh, USA at number one, China at number two, but India here uh, is uh, the third most likely destination for foreign direct investment. So the question is, could it be India's time? Will the Indian economy start to fulfill its potential? Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Uh, trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative.